so now we are gonna build this content area and in this content area this content area is divided into two sections first section contain this product and this banner and the second section contain this welcome and this list so first of all we will build this section in this section first of all a separate div contain these images and now let's start to build this area here it is and here in the section area first of all I'm gonna give it class to give it styles here is the container and then here I'm gonna give a div here is a div and I'm gonna give it the class I'm gonna give it two classes first is row and second is content background so by using the content background we will insert this background here you see that these are two different background this background that is in the body is apply here this is the background of the main and now here I'm gonna create its closing tag here it is and now here in between these divs we have to create a separate div which have the width equal to the first section and in this div we will build this banner and this products this div have the 75% width here I'm gonna make it and here is the class adjust here is the div and now here first of all I'm gonna give the style to all of these divs and the elements here it is first of all give the style to the container by using its class I'm gonna give the width to this container this container contain all the products and now let's start paste the container and here we have to write the dot and then here is the parenthesis then here first of all its width is container width is 950 pixel and position is relative and here is the margin 0 pixel auto so the container is become in the center and here is auto and then here is the padding I'm gonna give it the padding 0 and then let's see it here first of all I'm gonna create a border to see the container and here it is and now here is so here the container is created but it have not content now so that's why it have not any height it is just like a simple line so I'm gonna remove it and here I'm gonna give the style to this content background so we can insert that background that is present here here you see that this background here in the style here I'm gonna create the content area so the content area is gonna be start from this and here is the content background here is this and here it is right background here it is here is the URL here is the images and here is the body background dot gif and this body background is now it is inserted but we cannot see it right now so I'm gonna give the padding to this content background div here it is 35 pixel on top 20 pixel left 43 pixel bottom 20 pixel right and now let's execute it so here now you can see that there is a background is added this is the content area and 
now it have not too much content so that's why its height is less and now I'm gonna put the style for the row we will put the style for the row in later because when the content is mixed up then your concept is clear when the problem is occur then I will put the style for the row and now here in the adjust one we are able to create two things first thing is we have to create this product a little gallery and then we have to create the banner in the se separate section it is created in the separate section and here I'm gonna give another div here is the div and I'm gonna give it the class wrap call so now by using this class we will create the space between the div and the content area or in other words boundary and the content area here you can see that this is the boundary of the content area and the space there is a space around the content so this is created by giving the margin and now I'm gonna use this class and give this div a margin here here first of all let's do this and first of all I'm gonna give the 75 percent width to this div that contain the adjust one and here is first of all write container then adjust one and then here I'm gonna give it the width to the 75 percent and then here I'm also gonna give it display inline block and then the float left and we will give the float left and all these properties to the other divs so that's why here I'm gonna create it separate container dot adjust one and here is we have to write float left and here is the display inline block here is the inline block and here I'm also gonna give it the border then you can understand it clearly why we create another class wrap code here is the solid here is the hash ff and now let's execute it and here it is so now this is the adjust one I'm gonna put some content in, inside it and then you can understand it clearly here is this is the adjust one here I'm gonna write random content and now here is the text but now here you see that there is no space between the content and this adjust one div so we have to create the space between the adjust one div and the content the content is inside the wrap code div and now what we need to do we have to create a margin around around the wrap code div and then space is created around this div and here it is and now here I'm gonna write wrap call dot wrap call and here is the margin around it 10 pixel and here it is and here you see that a space is created so now here you see that a boundary is present so this is the thing to use the wrap code to create the space and now here I'm gonna remove this border we don't need it and here I'm gonna make it in the single line because we have to use this thing many times with other classes with other divs and here I'm gonna remove it and now here I'm gonna create another section inside this div in this section we will place these products these products are now going to be a separate section and this banner in a separate section and here is the product section is section and here is the class indent bottom 
and now here is the closing tag of the section here is the section and now why we give the indent bottom to this section because we have to create a space on the bottom side of the section here you see that there is a space on the bottom side of this section and then here what we need to do inside this section first of all we have to create this heading here I'm going to copy this and then here is the h2 and here is its closing tag and here it is and then after this what we need to do we have to create these images and we have to put this gallery and now we have to create another div that contain all of these images and we have to give it a class HR border so by using that class we will create this border bottom and here is the div that contain all of these images and here is the div here I'm going to remove the distance here is class row and here is HR border 1 and here is the section div and now here I'm gonna move it this section and now in this div we have to put all of these images but before this first of all we have to create the separate div for each and every image and its text first of all we will create a, a, a div and then in that div we will place this image and this text and that div have 25% width then we will create another div who have the 25% width then we will put this image and its text then we will create the next one and here is the first div and here I'm gonna here is the distance and here is the class and here I'm gonna give it the adjust to class so by using the adjust to we will give it so by using the adjust to we will give the width 25% to each and every width and uh, image and its text and here is the div and it have the class wrap call and you have already know why we are using the wrap call the wrap call class is just used to give the distance between the content and the external div here it is here is so now the a space is created in between this adjust to div and these the content inside this wrap call div here first of all I'm gonna insert the image img and here is the source and here is the images and here is the page one and here is the img one and now here we have to write the extension jpg and then we have to give the class img indent and now let's reload it so here is the image is present so now we have to give the style to this image and this h2 heading and before this I'm gonna create this description list this is a description list this is the description term and its text so now here I'm gonna put the description list first of all write DL tag and here is the closing tag of the DL and here is the class description list and here I'm gonna write def list definition list one and in between this first of all I'm gonna put the description term here is the DT and in between this we have to put this 
text that is tomatoes and here is the text and this is inside the anchor tag here is hyper reference and here is the closing tag of the anchor tag and now here we have to put the description of the term here is the dd here is remove this and here in between this we have to put the description here i'm going to copy from this and paste it here so now here is the description list here is the image and this is the complete div that is for the one image and now i'm going to give the style to it and now first of all i'm going to give the style to the adjust to i'm going to give it the width here is copy this and then we have to give here make it two and here we have to give it every image div have the 25 percent width and it is floated to the left and it is also have the display inline block here i'm going to give it adjust to and here it is reload it and here is the text on all the things i'm going to adjust it then it will be okay now here i'm going to give the style to this h2 heading i'm going to give the style to all the h2 headings i'm not going to only give the style to the h1 or h2 here you see that there are many headings in this website so i'm going to define the font size and all the things for all of these here i'm going to create headings headings because the style for the headings are just same so that's why i'm going to specify all the styles for all the headings here here first of all i'm gonna specify i'm gonna remove the margin padding of all the headings h1 h2 and h3 here is the h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 and here it is first of all i'm gonna give it the color to all the headings have the color white and here is the padding is zero pixel on the top zero pixel on the left nine pixel on the bottom and here you see that zero pixel on the right side why i have give the nine pixel on the bottom because every heading have the space on its below side we have to create the space and then the font weight of the every heading is here i'm going to give it the font weight is normal normal and then here is the margin is zero and the padding is also zero and then here is the font family i'm going to give the font family to all the headings i'm going to give it passion one font here is the passion one and now let's look at it here it is changing but it have its size is not enough i will adjust all of these things in the next video so thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next video.